So I'm going to go through just setting up a quick sync process uh, using Tracer Plus Connect. We'll review the sources and data destinations, so where you can grab the data from and where you can push that data to when you sync this data. And we'll perform a sync on the handheld just so you can see that uh, in real time. So I'm going to hop out of the uh, PowerPoint here uh, just so I can head over to Tracer Plus Connect. Now, I have uh, an empty project here. And I do have a project that's been deployed to my Android device. So on the right-hand side here, you can see uh, I have a project called Data Collection. I just quickly created a product scan form, <clears throat> form and an inventory form that I pushed out to the handheld using Tracer Plus Desktop. And if I were to jump into here, you can see the form that I've created. Uh, it's just a, a very simple form for collecting a barcode, a location, a description, quantity, scan date, and a username. Um, and I actually already went ahead and uh, used that form to collect some data. So you can see I scanned a barcode, I, I used the drop down to select the location, entered a description and keyed in a quantity there. And I've collected these three records on the handheld. So this is typically how you use Tracer Plus. You'd fill out the form that you've created using Tracer Plus desktop, you'd save that data, and now we have those rows of data on the Android device or iOS device or whatever it might be saved on this handheld. So the first thing that I was, thought I'd set up to, uh, to, for you guys today is to actually show you how to get the data off of Tracer Plus and put it into a database or um, other format uh, by triggering a sync. So if I jump over to Tracer Plus Connect, <clears throat> you'll see that I have uh, basically a non-configured setup here, but I'll kind of talk to you and show you how this is configured. So Tracer Plus Connect has what's called sync processes. And a sync process is made up of just two kind of simple things, a source of data and then a destination of data. Like I mentioned before, the source can be some type of database, SQL Server, it could be a Tracer Plus session, Excel spreadsheet, a text file or Salesforce. And you can grab the data from these systems and move them over to the, or move that data over to the destination every time this sync process is triggered. So I wanna get the data off of a Tracer Plus handheld. So what I'm gonna do is set the source to be Tracer Plus. So now I have uh, the Tracer Plus as the source. Since I've linked my project that I created in Tracer Plus Desktop, you can see I have my two forms that I've created, a product scan and an inventory form. If I go back over to the handheld, you'll see that I can go to the home screen, you'll see the product scan and inventory form. Now I had the uh, three records in product scan. So I wanna set that as my source of data on the left-hand side here. On the destination, I can pick where I'd like to send that data when uh, this sync is triggered. So you have a, another large selection of options here. You can send it to an ODBC database. So this can be something like Microsoft Access, uh, MySQL, uh, could be SQL Server, Oracle, anything like that. Uh, there's a SQL Server native client here. So you can just enter your IP uh, username and password to a SQL Server database. You can send data to another Tracer Plus session. So you could send it to maybe the inventory, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, but you could send it to the inventory session. You can go to an Excel uh, workbook and sheet. You can go to text file, Salesforce. And then the last option here is a template, which I'll get into in a little bit later uh, as a more advanced option, but this allows you to go to web services and things like that. Uh, for the demo just now, cause I wanna set up a basic sync, I'm gonna to go to ODBC. And I'm gonna select a database that actually comes with Tracer Plus Connect when you install the application. Uh, and it's a Microsoft Access database. And you can see here, this database, which will be installed with Tracer Plus Connect, has a number of different sample uh, tables in here. I actually wanna populate this product list. So you guys may already have a database um, that you wanna sync with your handhelds. Uh, it could be Microsoft Access, it could be something else, and the setup is very much the same, but let's just say I wanna get those three records that I just created on the handheld into this database. So what I'll go ahead and do here is from my ODBC setup, I'm gonna go ahead and select from the uh, data source dropdown, <clears throat> the Tracer Plus Connect sample. Now, if you had some other database here, you could go ahead and select it, like MySQL or SQL Server, but for the demo today, I'm gonna go ahead and select Tracer Plus Connect sample. In the case of some of the database types, you might have to enter a username and password, but for Microsoft Access, we don't. Uh, we then will see that the table dropdown here is populated with all of the tables, views, and the stored procedures that are inside of that uh, database. And you can see if I open up this list here, it matches what you see 
in the tables list in Microsoft Access. So I wanted to populate that product list table, so I'm going to go ahead and select product list here. And then I'm going to reset the mappings down below. So the mappings are really just marrying up the fields that you have on the handheld, like you can see in our, uh, our product list uh, form here, barcode, location, description, so on. These are the fields that are, the, that are on the handheld. And we want to marry them up to the appropriate fields in our product list. So I'm going to go ahead and just move some of these around. Uh, so for instance, the part number, I want to marry up to the barcode field. So I'm going to move that one up. Location, I'm going to match to location. Description to description. The quantity on hand, I'll marry up to the quantity field on the handheld. Uh, the scan date, I will go ahead and open this dropdown and do date scan. And now I think I have one to one here. So I have barcode to part number, location to location and so on, and then the user name that I collect on the handheld to the scanned by field in our database. So that's all we need to really do to set up a very basic sync. And this one will basically take all of the data that's been collected in Tracer Plus in our product session, product scan session, and when the uh, sync is triggered, it will send all of that data over to this product list database table based on these field mappings. Uh, just one thing to note, you can change how the data is sent to the destination. So you can append new records, you can overwrite the records in that destination, you can update records and so on. So you can change how the, as those rows come and be, are, as they're being inserted into the destination, you can change what happens to them uh, when they do that. I'll leave this for, as an append for now, and it should just take our three records and move them over to the uh, destination side. So that's a simple sync process. And again, let's uh, go ahead and name this one because you can add a number of different, um, call it download product. And now we know that when we trigger this sync process, it's downloading the product that we've created on the handheld, our uh, Android device, and sends them over to the product list and appends that as new data. So really you're giving somebody out in the field the ability to use this form for maybe keying in new product or something like that as you're building out your inventory uh, using the barcode scanner on the device. So that's all I'm gonna configure for this one. I'm actually gonna go ahead and save my project uh, I'll jump over to the synchronize tab here, and this is where you'll actually see activity from devices out in the field. So I've already configured this form here, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about this configuration in a minute, but I added a simple sync data button to my form, which the user can go ahead and click here, um, which will then actually communicate with Tracer Plus Connect, send that data to, uh, to Tracer Plus Connect, and Connect based on your configuration there, will push it over to the destination so if I were to go here and hit refresh, you can now see those three records that I created on the handheld are now um, been inserted into this access database. So it's very simple setup. I just had it uh, take this product <coughs> that was created on the handheld and now it's dumping it into this Microsoft Access database um, and allows you to move that data from the source to the destination. So quick, simple setup uh, and easy to configure even in the trial mode of Tracer Plus uh, running on the handheld as well as Tracer Plus Connect in, um, in a trial mode if you'd like to do that.